And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swat with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about California's ongoing saga of the fire fee for rural residents. My guest this segment is George Runner, a member of the State Board of Equalization. Thank you very much for being with Thank us. Thank you, Steve. Good being here. So this fire fee now is into our second year. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a $150, goes out to about 800,000 rural residents in right. California. They uh, they had one year under it. Uh, you tried to you and others have tried to kill it. You've been right. unsuccessful. Right. So now the the invoices are going out again. Yes. Yeah. And and you know it's really a great concern for me. About half of them, about four hundred thousand of them, actually live in my district. So uh, it's uh, certainly a great concern for those who uh, who are in the uh, mountain and desert areas. Um, you know the the fact is that we believe that the the fee is illegal. Um, this was done as a, you know as a as a budget fix a number of years ago. Uh, should have been done with a two-thirds vote instead of simple majority, and so therefore that's why we've joined the Howard Jarvis Taxpayer Association lawsuit. So that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the second set of bills have gone out, and so people throughout California are getting this new bill. And even though you don't like it and you think and are hoping that it would get thrown out, you are recommending that people pay it. Yeah, right, absolutely. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to get caught up in both, you know, your concern for it, and then, but also then having you know interest and penalties attached to it too. So we're telling people protest it, pay it, and protest it, and let us make sure let let's let us work it out in court because we think we'll win. Yeah, that's probably the only place you're going to win because, as you know, there's been legislation to repeal it, and that's been a total non-starter. Well, and quite frankly, there's also been legislation to tone it down a little bit. For instance, we're hearing complaints from senior citizens who all of a sudden are in in a, in a mobile home park. And this bill is actually almost twice as much as two of their monthly payments in their mobile home park. Uh, and they get this bill and they're trying to choose what to, what to do next month when they have to pay it. Let's talk about the rationale for this, though. Sure. I mean, Cal Fire would say and supporters would say, look, we're talking about individuals who live in areas where the state has responsibility for fire protection mm -hmm. and that this money goes directly uh, as a benefit to these homeowners because it, it goes into brush clearance, uh, inspection of, in, of defensible space, things like that, education. Yeah. Things. So there's a direct benefit to these 800,000 well, residents. Well, that's really the core of the lawsuit. We don't believe that there is a direct benefit. Many of these people actually live in very urban, uh, unincorporated areas. Uh, and so they're having to pay, and that's one of the core issues of the lawsuit. Uh, the other issue is you got to remember nothing new happened with this amount of money. What happened is the state used this money that was in the state budget, basically used it to balance a budget, and went back then and charged these residents for services that they were already getting. And again, this is not about fire protection. This is not about putting out anything. This is about clearance and, and those kind of issues. Well, that is fire protection, though. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not prevention, though. It's, it's not protection in the sense of what people think about. Uh, and, and the fact is, right now, uh, the state's sitting on grants that they're not even putting out in order to provide those kind of services to many of the local uh, uh, fire, fire stations and whatnot. So well, it's, a, it's a real problem, and, and that's why people are concerned about it. But we have seen in recent years folks building homes closer and closer uh, to the, the wilderness. And, yeah, but the assumption right? then is that they are part of the fire issue, and they're not. The fact is that most of these fires are started either by lightning strikes or by visitors coming in from the other area. The other thing you need to remember in this process is the whole Cal Fire protection issue wasn't about protecting rurals. It was about protecting watershed for people who live in cities. Mm -hmm. And so to say, okay, you, since you live in the rural areas, even though there's very little evidence that you are responsible for these fires, um, you're going to have to pay this extra fee. Okay, 10 seconds left. The status of the lawsuit. The lawsuit has been accepted. The dates are being set now for trial. And again, we think it's pretty clear that the legislature went beyond its authority. All right. George Runner of the Board of Equalization, thanks very much for coming by and talking about this very interesting and fascinating subject. Okay. We appreciate Thank it. And thanks also to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.